This presentation highlights the SDC file generation and false path viewing capabilities found in the Blue Pearl visual verification environment. In this example, we take a few moments to load a pre-existing design. Then we need to enable the tool's create feature and set the proper parameters for SDC file generation. That means we must first enable the time enclosure package. Note that the tool generates assertions in addition to SDC files and can do so in SVA format in addition to the PSL format required by the false path viewer. We can also select a vendor format for the SDC file. In this case, we are selecting the simplicity format. Then we need to run an analysis. Next we bring up the false path viewer window. The main control feature of this window is the SDC file itself, where you select a false path to view. For large SDC files, a filter is available. Selecting a false path from the SDC file will fill in the assertion, the RTL code, and the schematic, including a mini view that shows context when the schematic is zoomed in. Schematic elements are color-coded so that you can easily see the data path and the conflicting control paths that define the false path. Notice that selecting any element of the schematic cross-probes to the appropriate location in the RTL code. Correctly constructed synthesis constraints will result in a better design that closes timing sooner and fits on a smaller die. This concludes this presentation. Thanks for your attention.